Okay, so one of the things I mentioned was we can drop packets um, in the, um, due to the overloaded media manager. And so one of the media, uh, remediations for this that we've already discussed and planned around was when you have a core server, like your core application server or call feature server, maybe a PSTN gateway, that you want to reserve capacity for them. So you, uh, you create an access control object that reserves or prioritizes capacity. In old software uh, versions and SBC systems are reserve capacity and newer ones that prioritizes traffic. But basically, you still need to do the same job where you create an access control object to ensure that there's capacity available for those core key devices. Now, you can see if there's traffic being dropped and show ACL summary. It shows uh, these different entries and it shows there's a trusted entry and we're actually dropping packets from it. So, um, Oracle recommends that you do show ACL reset that resets the counter and then run show ACL summary to see if these numbers are counting up. And that gives you an idea of whether the SBC is dropping packets. What, what actually happens here when the SBC drops one of these packets is it's, it's treated as if it was never transmitted by the SBC. So the SBC doesn't respond, it doesn't send a 100 trying or a 503 service unavailable. It completely discards the packet, which causes the other devices that were sending that packet to retransmit SIP. So you can have these kind of discards and then have them automatically remedied by retransmission of SIP. So you might not notice exactly when these, this shows up, but if you start having some sort of reliability problem with calls getting through, registrations getting through, subscribes or notifies, then this is something to look at in an Oracle SBC. Are we actually seeing some sort of drops? And, and then what can we do? So this is one of the two types of drops. We'll talk about the other one in a minute. Let's look over here and, and see. And show ACL summary here. We've got uh, we've got a lot of drops in the deny list, but you know that's kind of what we want. In the untrusted list, we have a lot of drops. This is just packets that have come in where uh, it got overwhelmed. Now, in the trusted list, though, this is what we're really worried about, where we see drops. And if we run this again, I don't think we're going to see it going up. Um, we'll see if we can do the. We reset this to zero. And then we can start counting up to see whether we get any more. So when do we get another one? So there's 108 entries here. Um, this is, tells us about the number of packets that are coming inbound um, to the SBC through the trusted ACLs. This is our major, this is really your only major count of the number of SIP uh, packets that are coming inbound to the SBC. So you could do, um, you could get a rough estimate of the amount of SIP coming inbound. And then you can see if there's something being dropped. Um, this would be dropped because the SBC's media manager was either misconfigured or was overwhelmed uh, by the traffic coming in. We can also look at show ACL trusted. And you can see the number of drops. Let me shrink this down a good bit so I can stretch it out. We can see this. So this column here on the right is drops. Now I just reset this counter, but this would count up with the number of uh, drops if they were actually occurring um, on the SBC. I have seen this cause some real substantial problems where during certain periods where you had a lot of activity that the SIP from the core application servers or other key servers actually does get dropped and it ends up creating a lot of problems. So reserving capacity with that access control object is really something you do want to do. You want to you set that up. 